I, I, <laughs> but okay, Sabric, True Blue, like Sabric you said, Cloud, and True Blue, Cloud, Three, Sonic, two, Sonic. Two, yeah. One, here we are, and here this this is what we were talking about. Who's gonna approach? Like neither of them want to approach of them, and apparently Cloud does, Cloud does. but nah. Real talk, Seabrick is getting some crazy reads in his past games. Air dodge reading and jump reading death to death. I don't know about that. I would have just gone for a down tilt there. Down tilt actually has a kind of difficult time two framing. Well, no, he was already out of, of invincibility. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was just holding that smash. I, I, I guess it was like safe-ish. Right. What was we talking about? Who's approaching? They're both approaching. They're, they're not ready to... to to leave yet. Yeah, they're not sitting back though. Like, both of them are playing from a mid-range. <laughs> and I think Cloud is a little better at mid-range. And I think Cloud is better as a character in general. Because Cloud is like the best character, if not the second best character. Alright. Relax. Really? No, I think so. He's he's up there. I don't know who the best character is. I think it's Cloud. Uh, some say Cloud. Some say Diddy. Some say Ryu. Some, some say reason. Rosalina. Some say Anyways, Bayonetta. Back to the match. There's no we're, we're just rambling right now. Exactly. Zebra taking the stock lead. Or percent lead. Sorry. And he just, he, like you said, he doesn't have to approach. But I think he wants to just to get that kill out of the way so he can just you know rest easy. Yeah, but... I mean, Limit is online, so this is when True Blue has to be scared. Exactly. And, and he has to, like, fish for a grab to throw him off stage and hopefully force that Limit out of him. Exactly, exactly. That was a funny interaction. Funny, funny, funny footstool. Funny footstool. Okay. Stopper takes it. I'm not sure what he spent his Limit on. But I guess he got hit out of a cross slash or something. Because I, I don't expect Seabrick to go for any more downbees in this tournament. <laughs> Oh, After yeah. not succeeding, you know. But yeah, catch, catching up the wow two um, spins in a row, spin dashes in a row with with the neutral air. It's right. covers so much, and I mean he hasn't really done it yet. But the the raw and air, oh gosh, it comes out so fast. It does, it does. Because the first hit, if for those of you who don't know about Cloud's neutral air, it is listed as a frame five attack. But the attack, wow. The attack starts from behind Cloud, so the back part is when it's frame 5. Exactly. When it hits the front, it's probably around like frame 8, I would say, which is still very good. Yeah, it goes like 270 degrees, but like, you gotta, you gotta flip around. I actually around think it goes 360. Not, I don't think it goes all the way 360. I promise. Actually, I, I, actually, I think it ends good. in the spot that it starts. Well, well, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. We'll watch one more Nair, and we'll let you guys know. Because, you know, we take geometry here in Florida. Exactly. <laughs> Let's Look, dude, he's Nair right now. You ready? One, two, three. No, he's Nair. not. No, he's not. There we go. Did it go all the way around? It doesn't go all the way. It doesn't way, go all the way around. It almost does. It goes like 270. Maybe it'll even a little more than that. Because it goes past the downward point. It goes past the All right. And wow, reading the game getup. one coming out for birthday boy Seabrick. Oh yeah, happy birthday to Seabrick. He's finally 12. Nah, he's like 80. That man's so, oh old. yeah, he's been around since That man's like, old. Yeah, he's finally 66. This man taught MVD the game. Lord. That's how I old. I actually believe you, too. No, he did. Like, the little childhood friendship that was going on there was like, Seabrick MVD, Esam, Nick Riddle. They all live in the same neighborhood. Um, game one Seabrick won game one. And, but like you said, he just... <laughs> even though he counterpicked the duck on, I don't know if that was such a great idea because you're literally rolling the dice. On who has to approach, you know what I mean? If no, if, it's more like who's rolling the dice on the first stock. Like first stock decides everything on Duck Hunt. Mm -hmm. But I mean, to an extent, right? But in this matchup, especially. Oh yeah, because both characters, it's like if I get first stock, I'm running away the whole time. Exactly. And why not? A win is a win, and we take those. We do take those. It is true. But I honestly think Fab does have a few ways to challenge the tree. So. Oh, good back air. Mm, that was a. That was ambitious. Impatient uh, cross slash. Yeah, don't 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 get too jittery out there, folks. But I mean, the whole day, Seabrick has been trying to read people by hoping that they're gonna jump into his cross slash or fall into his cross slash. And to be honest, I would. Absolutely. Maybe. I would absolutely fall into that. I don't think I would. But 
Even but, though he's behind, he's not approaching. He's just chilling. Charging limit. First, perfect pivoting. I mean, first stock is still on, so mm -hmm. it's like, it's anyone's game still. The game gets rough in the second stock. That raw forward smash making him waste the limit. Wow, wow. and he two framed him. Wow. With forward smash. Uh, I think he was too low to snap. I think he was floating above the edge there. Yeah, but I thought limit cross slash auto snaps. I mean, not cross slash, limit yeah. up beat. Yeah, it, 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 it auto snaps if it if it connects, but he was going off the momentum. He was too low. You understand? I guess, yeah. But even though he's behind, he's just chilling, you know, charging limit because why not? And if he just gets one good read, that stock is gone. Dunzo. Oh my wow. god. And that's he's like, that's he's like exactly give me that spring. What, give me that spring, boy. I'll take that up air. And that's exactly what you want an Ape Man to do with his up air. <laughs> You're right. And it worked out. And that, gosh, it's such good game knowledge by, <laughs> by, me by Saber. for calling yeah, that out. By, by no, you. He, he was <laughs> listening, dude. He was listening to the stream. He has a stream in his headphones right now. Um, is that legal? I don't know if that's legal. Probably not. I don't think that's legal. I feel like it'd be really confusing. That though. makes hindsight, like, way faster. <laughs> it's like, oh, he hit me with what? Having two coaches okay. at all times. Oh, yeah. But, ooh, that was not safe. That was not safe on shield. But this is looking like True Blue's last match with uh, Ape Man right now. Exactly. Except, Except that Seabrick is he's by far in the lead. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's sitting pretty right now with limit, percent lead, and he's controlling the whole stage. This patience. He is always spacing properly from what it seems. She's going to take one little flub from True Blue to get a cross slash in the face. And he look, look at him. He's just, like I said, playing at that little range, like right outside of what he can reach. And he just, it's so dangerous. Yeah, he's playing at the range where it's like, if you press a button, I have something to do exactly. against that button. And he's making the stock stock deficit, into, or stock deficit, percent deficit into a percent lead. Yeah, but that's expected from Sonic. Oh, we didn't get the cross slash that time. I saw it. Oh my um, god. Tried to hit that landing. Say, Brick. It would have worked if he power shielded the Nair, because when you land with Nair as Sonic, there's a little bounce at the end of it that you cannot do any actions in, and you're just floating there. Yep. But this stock, this percent leaves in, in his favor, and now he just can stop approaching for two minutes. Seabrook needs to try and get a uh, limit back as soon as he can. And there we go, almost. And that that's a really good way to force oh, an approach, but as soon as he got limit, there it goes. Okay, that was a good trade. I yeah, think that no trade deal. went in True Blue's favor. Dash in, roll back. The classic zero tactic. Oh, trying to two frame with that move again. I mean, it's a good move. There's a dish joint at the end. Yeah, it reaches pretty far off stage. Oh my god, one more up air might seal the deal. Yeah, for both of them. <laughs> I think it's a lot easier to hit cloud up air though. Oh, absolutely. Okay, that limit. limit is online and he just threw it. He yeah. was hoping. That True Blue was going to run in, and he just did not. Oh my god. These air dodges are so risky right now, too. And if you just remember, I, mean, I don't want to say Cloud is kill. trouble killing, but without limit, he, he's, it's essentially he has a wall hop. All right. So he has to get like a nice read, which you said he's been having all night, so hopefully I mean, he's still on a hockey streak here. You never know. Birthday Boy coming in clutch with these reads. Birthday Boy and all, but there's 45 seconds left in the match. There is 45 seconds left in the match, and this is looking exactly... Like Ape Man versus True yeah, Blue right now. Yeah, it's coming down to the wire. He's got a 30% uh, lead, and I think he's just gonna have to throw out a neutral B and hope for the best. No, he's gonna cross slash that shield, but it's okay because dash attack might get it. Oh wow. my God, he got it. Almost max rage dash attack, and Seabrick taking it 2-0 over True Blue. All right, and yeah, it's been uh, a wild night. It's been a pleasure commentating with you.